Hello you lot. Before we get cracking with this week's episode, we've got a very exciting announcement. We are doing a live show on Wednesday the 30th of December at Up The Creek Comedy Club in Greenwich. The first wave of tickets are now on sale and can be found on the Up The Creek website. The ticket link can also be found on the That Josh James Show Instagram page. We've got some very special guests lined up, a few surprises, Q&A, and who knows, White Boy may even get up and give us a song or two. So come join us for a great night out in our new home of South London. See you there. Well, if I can find a few actions from somewhere, I'm going to love it. The backlash makes me horny. We're up for the banter. It's a comedian. Hello and welcome back to that Josh James show with me, stand-up comedian Josh James. As ever, I'm joined by my right-hand man. You know who it is by now. It's Chrissy White, a.k.a. White Boy, Rumpford's number one podcaster. What's happening, matey? How are we doing, Jamesy? I'm good, mate. You all right? Really good. Good? Yeah, mate. you just giving me a bit of stick about... Uh, all the boys are giving me a bit of stick about the, uh, my panties. Bruv, you can't wear... Why fronts and expect to not get it over that? Why not? <laughs> because it's fucking. My five year old son is no longer wearing pants. He's in boxers. It's too cool for that. You can't. You know, it's no good. It's no Listen, good. Listen, do you know the sort of geezers that wear Y fronts? Have you ever seen them pictures of David Beckham? Yeah, but he's um, fronts. selling them. David Gandhi, Y fronts. Yeah, but. Mark Wright. Why France? Should we talk about the level of physical condition that the three people you just spoke about are in? You know what I mean? You can't have why France and love handles. <laughs> <laughs> why not? So you can't do it. You can't do it. But maybe, maybe I'm breaking down barriers. Like I'm wearing why France for the geezers. You're that have got. building barriers, Jamesy. It's no good. I, I honestly think if you ain't wear why, I don't know what the hate is for the why France. They're I mean, at the end of the day, why do girls wear knickers? Because they're nice and comfy. Yeah, I mean, why don't you try to start wearing knickers? See how comfy they are. Well, did I ever tell you a story? <laughs> no, go on. What about when you dressed up like a girl? No, no, no. I was about seven years old. I still remember it to this day. We were rushing, go out the house, little day out. My mum, I was like, mum, I ain't got no fucking pants. Show me a of knickers. No, you didn't. You wore your mum's knickers. <laughs> Jamesy, bruv. No. Wait, I, I, there was, I said, oh, don't worry. I'll just go fucking without no Yeah, that's pants. a better option. And she said, no, you got to stick them on. <laughs> Fuck. Mate, I can still remember to this day. Fuck. Black, mate, not even like Spog Lacy. Pe- mate, they were lacy. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what atrocities has my old man done in these bad boys? You know mate. what I mean? That's so bad. That is bad, isn't I it? I can't believe your mum even thought that that was a good Terrible. option. Terrible. Terrible. you've got a brother. This is, 90s, uh, this is 90s parenting for you. Still, I'm surprised you turned out as normal as you are. I mean, that's a bit... You know I'm not that normal. No, mate. no, but I think you would be more <laughs> less normal. You know what I mean? <laughs> now I've heard about that. Mate, you know how fucking mental I am. Yes. Club. Mate, it's quite interesting, actually, to find out um, some of the comments that we make on this show. Mm some of the reactions we get. And I've got a few of them here, actually, got funnily goodness. enough. Um, so I'll tell you what was quite a controversial one when I said I read that article about the multicultural London English that there will be uh, aspects yeah, in yeah, it. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that popped. Yeah, I mean, on Facebook, people were going mad. And, the Prime uh, Minister's retiring because he's a bumper car. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's funny, me, isn't mate. it? You're just having a laugh and yeah. people take these things so seriously. And one thing I noticed, obviously, people on Facebook, they're, they're a bit older. Mm, um, different and, and different th- demographic on Facebook. Mate. Different demographic. But with a lot of these people, I'm thinking, why are you getting the ump about that? What I said was multicultural London English, this article that I'd read, um, they said that's going to be commonplace throughout the whole country in 100 years' time. One, why would you give a fuck about that? You'll be dead. You're going to be dead. Your kids are going to be dead. And their kids, they're going to be old. Yeah. So what does it matter? And actually, the reason why I think it matters to a lot of people is because, let's call it for what it is, they're fucking racist at the end of the day. Potentially. Potentially. Well, yeah, I don't know for a fact, but potentially. But some of the comments were... But they made me laugh. Mm. They made me giggle. So someone's writ. Fuck with, is it, in it, yeah? This clown can't even speak properly. Talking about you? Yeah. Fuck with, is it, in it? Yeah. Someone's giving us a bit of credit here. 
what's he saying? I don't understand him. Ha ha. I can't see that happening. Otherwise, we would all already be talking Cockney across the country. At least this wasn't a racist conversation. Give us our juice. Oh, I like that. Um, what's he trying to say? That most of our other conversations are racist? Well, I don't know. I don't See, know. Look, there's many ways to read into these things, mate. This is funny. If they, uh, well, the Loughton comment, you know, we've done the clip about Loughton girls being the most beautiful in the world. Yeah. Someone wrote, if they all talk like these two ball bags, you can keep them. <laughs> <laughs> I went on his, uh, that's coming from a geezer called Ian Cunningham. Right? He looks about in his 70s. Show me this guy. Mate, listen, that's no loss. I very much doubt they're going to fucking be all over you. Right, let's find where he is. If he talks like these two ball bags, that's fucking brilliant. Here we are, look at this geezer, right? So, Ian Cunningham, he lives in Billingham, which is Stockton on Tees. Don't know where the fuck that is. He looks like a ball bag. He actually does look like a ball bag. Yeah. He's, do you know what? His missus is not bad for an, an older lady. So maybe... Nah, keep her and all. But some shirt he's got she on there. She ain't from Latin. <laughs> no, she ain't from Latin. <laughs> 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 no, she definitely ain't from Latin. But no, interesting one. But um, it is funny. Uh, and then this one made me laugh. Again, on the multicultural London English clip. Mm. Um someone had writ this geezer has got one of them Essex accents that make him sound like an R word now he's not said R word he has um, used the actual R word ah. which rhymes with batard <laughs> right I, I can't think what it fucking rhymes with but do you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that word yeah, yeah. Which is a disgusting word. You shouldn't <laughs> say it. It's highly derogatory. Mm. But he said, this geezer has got one of them Essex accents that make him sound like an R word. Mm. Um, you? Me. Yeah. Me. Okay. I mean, the funny thing about that comment was, ironically enough, full of spelling mistakes. Is it really? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you can't, um, you can't, you can't troll. Be, you can't troll and not use correct you can't grammar. Be chuck, you can't be chucking out the R words and then fucking Spell it wrong. misspelling the word accents. Mm. You know what I mean? Get, ah, make sure, yeah, get, make sure your own house is in order Yeah. before you start, you know. Um, anyone sent for me? Anyone sent for that. you? Uh, <laughs> other than Mikey Menis. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Jewish boy. The Jewish, the Jewish boy. <laughs> uh, actually, funnily enough, um, who is it? It's a Jewish boy with a nose. Jewish boy with a nose. <laughs> oh, Mikey. Yeah. Um, no, no, mate, you're a fan favourite. But uh, the Rise of the Foot Soldier clip as mm. well was funny. Some funny comments on that. Um, so we're talking about Rise of the Foot Soldier on TikTok. People have just been naming potential future Rise of the Foot Soldier films. So mm. Someone's put Rise of the Foot Soldier 87, Revenge of Tucker's Wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, so Next one is going to be Rise of the Foot Soldier in Space. <laughs> Rise of the Foot Soldier, Zombie Apocalypse. So, yeah, very funny. But we got this message the other day. We get lots of lovely messages off of you. As much as we get, listen, some of these clips um, are getting, I mean, I'm not saying this to fucking sound like I'm showing off, but. Mm. Some of them get hundreds of thousands of views on Facebook and TikTok, and yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of people that that are gonna send us Mate, nasty I, comments. I got a thing sh come up on my phone saying, "Congratulations, your reel did over 150,000 plays," and I was like, "Oh fuck!" Yes, like, a lot. Yeah, I'm new to this stuff. Yeah, I don't know 150,000 people. No, of course you, know you what don't, I mean? mate. I probably know a hundred people. No, I'm of course like, you don't. That's a lot of people. Mate, in the grand scheme of things, it's not when you're talking about what numbers you can do online. But, mate, I was impressed. Mate, it's a mad old, listen, it's, it's a mad old thing. And, um, I mean, what what's, I told you that story once against that, about that geezer. Uh, let's call him Rick. <laughs> let's call him Rick. Yeah, but so, who is it? So I do this, uh, I think you You like, have to let me know who it is. Yeah, no, no, okay. Rick, uh, I'm, I'm giving him a code name. Um, Rick Boya. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think you know him, right? Anyway, I'm doing this gig 
and his geezer comes up to me. Oh yeah, I know the guy you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got ya. Um, and then his geezer comes up to me, and he's he's off his nut, yeah. like just chewing all over the place. He's, yeah, he loves a packet. He's uh, he's at, like, and he comes up to me, and he goes, "I know your mates." I was like, "Oh, do you mate?" Yeah. He goes, "Yeah, Ginger and Plum." I mean, yeah. what's that group of them? I was like, oh, cool, cheers, man. Well, listen, I'm back to kind of stage. I'll, I'll talk to you, yeah, yeah. talk to you after. Comes up to me in the break. All right, mate. I oh, know, Ginger and Plum. I was like, oh, yeah, you said that at the start. <laughs> oh, he's gone from chewing his face off a little bit to yeah. his jaws. Just in, gone. Yeah. His jaws next door. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, but I've got to go up a second half, you know, but we'll have a chat after. Um, show finishes. Comes up to me. I mean, what's that group with Ginger and Plum? I was like, yeah, but first, <laughs> That's the first time. First time you said that, funny yeah. enough. Anyway, not not like not leaving me alone, this geezer all night and a bit ignorant of me really. I thought, oh this geezer must follow me, be a, Yeah, he's really, a fan. Must be a big fan of what I do. Yeah. Because he doesn't anyway, I'm still there at the end of the night. Everyone's left. His mates have gone. He's still trying to talk to me. I, I don't really make sense of what he's saying, because I can't even remember. But anyway, it turns out that I spoke to to Plum the next day and I was like, oh, this geezer just kept following me around all night. So I wouldn't put me down. Um, it seemed all right though. You know, he's a bit annoying to be honest, but I was, you know, was, I was nice yeah. to him. Um, and he goes, I said, it's so-and-so, Rick, Rick Bowyer. <laughs> <laughs> Rick it's Bowyer. quite close mate yeah. it's quite close it's not it though is it it's not, it's not it, it's, it's anonymity it's not. listen I'm a good guy yeah, his yeah. anonymity is, is it remains good. intact I said he, listen he, he's a bit annoying but he was he was out he's not poor geezer you know mm. what I mean and the plan was like nah surely he won't at your gig I was like what I, I was like, yeah, that was him. I was like, I got a photo of him, like front row, yeah. cracking up. Yeah. Whilst I was like, he goes, mate, you're not gonna believe it. Yeah, he's in a WhatsApp group with us. He's not started stop cunting you off for the last two weeks. Yeah. And I was like, no, no, you're on a wind up. He goes, yeah, mate, dude, I didn't tell you because you know it's not important. But um, he goes, that's fucking mad that he's turned up. Yeah, yeah. So he's been coating you off in the WhatsApp group hard. Yeah. And then bumming you up in real life. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where you thought it was like a super fan. Mate, yeah. I'll tell you, it spun my head because I was just like, fucking hell. Like, it made, it made me question everything. I'm thinking, do my mum and dad even like me? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, look, I don't think your mum does, mate. No, After she doesn't. After pants turn out, I'm doubting Pants I'm call, doubting calling me childhood. the next Michael Barrymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but then I was like, do you know what? He was so out his nut. I was like, he's going to be really embarrassed this morning. Mm. Really embarrassed. And uh, I said, send me over his number. Let me give him a text. Mm. I give him a text saying, listen, mate, I heard about everything you've been saying me in a WhatsApp group. Yeah. Um, I thought you called him out. I called him out. I said, look, I know what you, everything you said in a WhatsApp group. Just to let you know. No problem. I put myself out there to be judged. Um, you know, all these things, they, 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 I take them with a pinch of salt. You know, mm. I, I appreciate these things I just said. It's different when you say things online or over a text and in person. Yeah, it's a yeah, completely different story. Um, <clears throat> I said, I know you're probably a bit embarrassed about what happened last night. Just let you know. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's forgotten as far as I'm concerned. I don't hold on to grudges. And then you, he goes, mate, I'm, I've been cringing all morning. Um, he goes, really appreciate this text. You know, uh, he goes, yeah, you're right. I was was sort of cutting you off in yeah. the group. Um, I, and I didn't message him saying, mate, I but don't- But you enjoyed the show. I, don't, I didn't message him saying, I, want, I had so many questions like, mate, why have you come to watch me? <laughs> like, I, well, one thing I thought is maybe he's come to watch me. To do maybe, it to, you fa to your face. I don't think that. I reckon he's probably gone with the thought of, uh, I like that, like, open that I'm shit. Mm. He's obviously turned up. He did well. And I, I, but he enjoyed the show. Mate, I remember though, when he first come on, he was filming. And I was like, no, I'll put your camera down, mate. Um, and he's like, oh, okay. So I think he was after, he's open going, open to see someone who was shit at doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously he's see come to the show and realised, oh, actually, he's, he might still not rate me, but he felt right. He always done well tonight, mm. so I can't really say nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, people are fucking weird, mate. Very weird. But uh, yeah, I said, listen, mate, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll pretty goes appreciate the, the text. Do you know what I mean? Mm. 
but I've kept his, I've kept his anonymity, you know, Rick Bowyer. So good luck to you, yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, get yourself to a NA meeting, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. CA. Stay away CA. from me. CA. Stay away from me. Oh, yeah. I don't, Go to a different fellowship, please. I don't think that it's... Uh, yeah, I think that the Charlie had got him bad. Mm. Oh, he's a, he's a bit twitchy. Oh, mate, he was... Uh, twitchy gurney. I thought he was a break dancer when I first saw him. <laughs> he was all like... Wah, wah, wah. You know what I mean? All over, all Body over, popper. All over the show. But listen, you know, that's... Well, some things people that write online or whatever, it's not always actually what, what they would say or do yeah, yeah, in real course. life, you know what I mean? So, I do like that ball bag comment, though. Yeah, but I've got a nice question, anyway, from someone who is a recent listener. Actually, it, which it incorporates you, mate, to be fair. Uh, just need to find it. Uh, this is from Stevie. Um, he, oh, he's got quite a name here. Stevie Nutsy Hart Sheehan. I don't know if that's his full name. Fuck knows. But Stevie. Stevie Nutsy. Stevie Nutsy Hart Sheehan. <laughs> I can't be his real name. Nutsy. Nutsy. Maybe Nutsy is his like, street name. Yeah, I don't think that's his legal name. Stevie. You should call him Stevie. No, let's call him Nutsy. Nutsy. <laughs> Nutsy. He wouldn't be called Nutsy, would he? Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's happening, lads? On a bit of Saturday graft. Been tearing through the pod since one of my pals put me onto it. Not going to lie. He said, just start it from White Boy first. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and what Episode, a, what is that? 40... I can't remember. 49 and onwards. But... That's when it starts getting real good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't, can't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what a recommendation. Anyway, I'm deep in the OSB territory and I've scrolled up. Still no sign of him on the pod, nah? Question on something you mentioned about him having Churchill and Thatcher pictures up. Do you reckon in years to come, our generation will have pics of Boris or Rishi Sunak up in the garden pubs? Fuck it, even maybe at least trust knocking about. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, good comment. I can't see it myself. Them OSBs are a different breed. Yeah. What do you reckon? What was his name? Nutsy. Nutsy. Yeah, look, Nutsy, I like the fact that he's taking the time to write all that, you know? What I mean? Mate, that's nice. It's brilliant, mate, you in the fucking Lynch Trust. Yeah. No, I don't think people are going to have photos of these people up, mate. I think it's just filler. It's like, has anyone done anything big that's good? Listen, Boris was fucking jokes, though. I'm not saying he's a good I prime like, minister. I've always liked Boris. I don't know what his fucking policies are, this, that, and the other. I'm just saying. He's funny. Every time he's got, I'm just like, yeah, this geezer's a fucking character. He's a you funny. I mean? He's a funny geezer, Plus, and that's why people vote for him. Are quite fun but in all like intents and purposes, like it's mad, isn't it? People just vote for because they thought he was a laugh. Mm. Um, but he's, oh, I don't know, mad that he's running the country. But I liked, I like Boris. He's a very funny bloke. Mm. Um, I've got some Boris bits here. Have a look. This is great. I mean, this uh, this sums up Bar Boris here, doesn't it? Look, white boy, umbrella. <laughs> is that the king? <laughs> it almost looks like he's just done it on purpose, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> Mate, did you see that video the other week? These geezers were riding their bikes up in like the Highlands of Scotland and they just bumped into the king. Yeah. He was just out on a walk. Yeah, what would you do? We'd stop and have a chat. Would ya? To be honest, mate, I'd invite him on the fucking pod. Would ya? No, he ain't, he ain't a... He ain't a he, I don't know. I'd just do a little quick there. impromptu pod. Pull the phone out. Be like, welcome back to quickly another episode of fucking that just name show. Life on the mountaintop. What are you saying, king? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'd rather, I wouldn't want, if I could have any of the royal family, it ain't going to be Prince Charles, though. You'd have He's Harry king, on. Yeah. You'd have Harry on, though. 100% you'd have Harry on. Because, mate, I'll tell you what, you know, like, with the royal family and that, a lot of, I know, like, a lot of, a few black friends I've got, they're like, sh it was a shame about Meghan going, you know, no matter what you think of her, whatever, it was a shame about going because, like, actually, we saw ourselves represented then, where she was a mixed race woman. Bridges were gapped. Bridges were gapped. And I feel like, for both of us, we looked at Harry and we're like, yeah. we can relate. He was my guy. Yeah, like he was shagging cougars behind pubs. Yeah. He was in Vegas getting his kit off. Yeah. I'm like, well, that, well there's, some, there's someone I, I can relate to. Mm. You Definitely know. loves the powder. 
Oh, a hundred percent. He's yeah. still, he's still. I've read his autobiography, and he still, still like smokes weed often. Yeah, yeah, loves it, mate. What about the packs, though? I think he was a little. I don't think you can talk about the packs. No, I think he said he tried it, which means he, mate, yeah, he does he... it five or six times a week. I reckon he has a go. Tried it, do it occasionally for me was like four nights a week. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, though, it wouldn't be good being on a turnout with Prince Harry. I think it'd be fantastic. I think he'd be a laugh up until a point where you get back to the kitchen and you're having a date parts of heart and then he starts talking about his mum and you're like, oh, mate, I, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> mate, I remember where I was when I found out about your mum, mate. It was funny. <laughs> mate, honestly, mate, mate, you don't... Be- Listen, son, people's princess, mate. People's pr- never forgotten, son, never forgotten. <laughs> Like, I would love that. Get deep about Diana with Harry in the kitchen on a packet. I'd come out of retirement for that. Would ya? Yeah. Would ya? Probably. Yeah, but yeah. what do you say? Like, if he's getting deep about his Imagine mum. Imagine how good my NA share would be after that. I'd be like, look, relapse, but <laughs> yeah. oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the palace with <laughs> Harry. <laughs> it went off. Yeah. Who would be the worst person, do you reckon, to have a turnout with at the royal family? Prince Andrew. <laughs> yeah, he'd get a bit Come handsy, on. wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd get no handsy. Good. Do you reckon we're young enough for Andrew? Oh, mate, he'd be like, you'd, mate, you'd be in the kitchen at four in the morning, just you and Andy, you hear a knock on the door. And you'd just be like, oh, got a couple of girls come round. <laughs> Fucking turn up and you're like, whoa, Andrew, they're in their school uniform, mate, chill the fuck out. What are you doing? I can't be seen in here. Where's Where H? Where playing at? Yeah, no, too much. No, Andy, Andy, no. No, Andy. Harry, Harry, I think, would be good up until two o'clock, but then if he gets back to the kitchen, he's getting deep about his mum, and I, I don't know if I can have that conversation no, with I'd him, No, I'd love man. it. I'd absolutely fucking love it. Um, I feel like Camilla would be a bit frisky. Yeah, Camilla probably goes. She'd probably stick it on you. Mm. Yeah, she goes. She. Mate, did you see that bit? You know that guy, Buller? Comedian. Big fat guy. Oh yeah. English Buller. Yeah. You remember that bit he done about um Camilla Parker Bowles? No. <laughs> He's like, yeah, her name ain't Camilla. His name's Colin. Yeah? He's at a sex change. I knew him when he was a safe cracker out of Catford. <laughs> <laughs> Should we find that clip? Oh, it's so good. Where's it mate. on YouTube? It's uh it's where he's in prison. I've just got a comment now. Shout out Danny Bracebridge. Go on, son. Hope you're well, mate, he said. Oh, while we're on the subject of fans and listeners, shall we say, one of our listeners has just had a little baby. Oh, nice. Go on. Fella called Shane Lawrence. Shane Lawrence. Shout out. Congratulations on your new baby. I won't say the baby's name. but uh, No, we've got, shouted out Shane before. Yeah, I've got a beautiful... Oh, really? Yeah, he had the baby. Did he? No, sorry, sorry, lads. This might have to be cut out because I swear we shouted out Shane before. Shane Lawrence. Well, Shane, if we've shouted you out before, you just got double shout outs. Oh, no, actually, I don't think we did. Oh, no. No, we didn't. He came to the live show, Shane. He came to the live show. Yep. Big up, Shane. And now... He's got another baby, so he said, you got, you got another listener, he said, because ah, you've got a little baby, which lovely. is sweet. Um, yeah. What's the baby's name? I'm not going to say the baby's name. Okay, no, nice. Yeah, because you... Anonymity in that. I got in trouble for mentioning a fucking name the other day, mate, and I ain't doing it again. Oh, yeah. You got Kicked in big trouble. Off, it's not mate. <laughs> talk about, Kicked off. Not talk about that. even bad, um, man. No, Relax. as well, you don't want to be... We've just mentioned Prince Andrew, so he's probably going to be watching... You don't want to mention a kid's name. He's going to be like, oh, what's it? He's going to pick up. Yeah, yeah, no good. You know what I mean? You don't want fucking Andy sniffing around. Don't put no fucking ideas in Andy's head. So back to the royal family, best people to party with. I tell you, he's absolutely beautiful. Kate Middleton. Yeah. Oh, mate, she's stunning. Do you reckon she's boring or do you reckon she's a goer? I mean, that's our future queen we're talking about there, man. Yeah. I think she's filth. (laughs) <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I reckon William's a right prude, though. I reckon he's a real prude. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, and had no spliffs. He's lucky he's the k- k- gonna be the king because she's so fantastically beautiful. Well, like, can we just 
talk about his... Why hasn't he shaved it all off? Barnet. What's all that for? I think it's some sort of royal thing. You can't just shave the barnet you off. You can't shave your head. Because I think it you looks too looking common. looking well UKIP. Yeah. Yeah, it looks too common. Yeah. But I don't know why you just go and get the transplant. It's probably another royal thing. Yeah. It's just that haircut on that age of man doesn't look right. No. He's in that little in-between stage where he's not old enough to pull it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I reckon he'd be boring to party with. I tell you, I reckon it'll probably be a pretty good fun. Is uh, Prince Andrew's daughters what are they called? Peaches. Nah, not Peaches. Oh, that's Bob Geldof. Nah, yeah, that's he's not part of the royal family. No, he might um, as well be. Bob Geldof. Live Aid. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah are they don't doing get... a new Live Aid. No. I think no. No, um, but yeah, I think she, I think they'd be good. The 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 girls, what Beatrice and Eugene. Beatrice, they're not fit. They're not fit, but I reckon they're good to have a they'll laugh. They'll be with. a great laugh on a fucking party, mate. Hundred percent. Yeah, they'd be great laugh. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't think they take themselves too seriously. Not serious. fit though. No, no, not fit. But you know, that's Prince Andrew's daughters. Yeah. Oh really? So they're gonna have a little cheeky side to them. Yeah, yeah. A Plus, little... like you could get loads of information out of them in the kitchen. Yeah. And what was your dad actually like? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What was? Yeah. Did he ever stick it on any of your pals and all? Did that? he ever stick it on you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's just been. They've just closed him away now, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. He shut down. Mate, what a lovely life though. Like he's in all these big mansions, just mm. like middle of nowhere. People waiting on him. Just so I'm good. listening to this Lab Bible podcast the other day about the geezer who used to be like a royal guard. And apparently, he, this guy was saying that Prince Andrew is a prick. Really? Proper, rude, horrible prick. Listen, he may or may not be, but do you know what? I've always heard things about celebrities. Like our mate Plum. Mm. Apparently, he was, he was like the other day. Well, no, he was a few months ago. He was like, oh, yeah, do you know what? So and so is supposed to be a fucking prick. I was like, yeah. I was like, well, how do you know? He goes, he goes, well, my mate done a bit of work around his house, yeah, complete fucking wanker. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, but older mate, he might have been having an off day. Mm. He'd gone around there, worked one day. Yeah, he might have been a bit rude to him. He, yeah, he's probably been a prick in that time. But just because they're not always going to be turned, like, not turned on, but as in they're not always going to be on Only. it. But they're not yeah, always no, going to no. be. Look, I agree with a plum. All right? If you meet me, if I meet someone, yeah. I'm not good. they're not going to come away from that thinking that geezer's a prick. It's a big statement. Because I'm not a prick, so I act accordingly. You know what I mean? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, what if that celebrity or whatever has just had an off day? At, he's at home. You don't know what they got going on. He's at home. He's got someone else in his house putting in hard work to get his job done. There is no way someone's, a builder is coming away from a house thinking the owner of that house is a prick. Unless... True. You're a prick, so I'll make the plum right. And one thing, I'm having a bit of work done at my house at the moment, and I'm I'm trying so hard to fucking fit in with the builders, man. Oh yeah, yeah, That's it like coming. proper beggy shit. I'm like, <laughs> I go in there with my Timberland boots. No, on. you don't. I do because mate, you can't do that. I go in there and I'm just like, all right, lads. They're like, yeah, and they're telling me go. We probably won't get finished this today. I'm like. I don't fucking worry about it, mate. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, do you know James what I mean? Lee, I'm well, not a well, tradesman. I don't wear boots. I'm a tradesman. I don't wear boots. But, mate, honestly, I'm begging with it. I'm like, anyone yeah, want a tea? It. Anyone want a tea? Want a nosh? Want a nosh? Too Come sure. on, I'll give you a nosh. Sure. I'm just desperate. I'm desperate from to like me. Yeah. It's pathetic, they really. They can smell it. You they really? Smell it do you there. reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying hard. I see you a mile away. You're walking out the room and be like, oh, this geezer is king. Yeah. Super king. <clears throat> but I'm just trying to play it off, like, Mm, I'm I trying to play cool like they're like um, you know they're telling me jokes and I'm like laughing low so like, oh yeah fucking hell yeah. we're the same me and you beggy guy yeah yeah beggy just beggy <laughs> yeah. like I'm just why do I want them to all like me yeah you know what I mean it's sad isn't it really yeah uh, it probably goes back it's something to do with them fucking knickers mate it's something to do with the knickers yeah, what yeah. about if the food was subconsciously something to do with the knickers mmm that's so probably look, why I don't like fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never at a prawn in his life. Um, We're, um, so I've been talking to the production team. Yeah. And I just want to put it out to the listeners. We want to start a new segment. And it's called Jamesy Tries. All right? And Jamesy Tries a different piece of food at the end of every episode. Only something small. 
for example, we could start with like an olive. Yeah. <laughs> so I so said today, Jamesy tries olives. Let me know in the comments if you think we should do it. If we get five comments, we'll try one. I've not signed Over off on this. No, you're not. It doesn't matter. It's called that Just James show, though. It doesn't matter, mate. <laughs> Look, there's, surely there's five of us and one of you. Surely I'm, um, yeah. But listen, I'm man of the people. There's listen, five of us and one of you. Surely I'm, um, surely yeah. I'm overseeing the operation. A little bit, yeah. I need to sign, you know. We'll I see. mean, listen, fuck it. I, I, as you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a bit, of, I'm, I'm a whore when it comes to content. If it makes good content, whatever. There you go. You All know, right, job done. Don't even worry about the likes. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, we'll do it. But the thing is, though, them in the comments, they're all going to be going, get him to try this, get him to try that, like, really far afield thing. Nah, because it's not even got to be. We're going to start, we're going to ease you in, Jamesy. Needs to get you, fuck, you're going to be a cultured eater by, like, in a year's time, if we do this. Mm. Promise you. It's going to be worth it. Yeah, maybe. Do you know what I actually thought, and I spoke to... <laughs> That's not a yes, by the way, but we'll see. <laughs> it was, man. Um... Do you know what? When so many people kicked off in those comments about a multicultural London English clip on Facebook, I thought, how funny would it be to do a segment where we just make a completely made-up news story mm. and just get people at it? <laughs> so we'd be like, oh, yeah, like the great British lacrosse team um, now has got a mandatory law where um, they have to have two trans people in the team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just get people out, like, complete... Um, um, but we both be in agreement, like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea, really progressive. Yeah. And just watch people in the comments absolutely lose their fucking minds. Yeah, okay. Great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's come up with some bullshit. Some bullshit. Mm. It's like bait, like... Plausible, believable bullshit. Call it, like, fake news or... Mm. Or the, or the, like, the Essex News Network, so it's not obvious that it's fake news. ENN. ENN. Yeah. ENN. Like, this, is t this is a news story this week. The Essex News Network live from Peckham. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, we could be like, oh, yeah, this news story. Um, Prince Andrew is actually off to do some charity work for uh, schools in the third world. <laughs> and people be like, you can't fucking have him, Rankies. What are you doing? <laughs> and we'll be like, yeah, he's going out there. Um... Just get people proper at it, you know yeah. what I mean? The whole trip's being funded by Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, yeah. the whole trip's being funded by Harvey Weinstein. Um, patron of the charity is Gary Glitter. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, like really just just really, you know. Yeah, just out there, outrageous shit that's just not outrageous, true. Outrageous, just not true. And just try and get people at it. Just watch people lose their minds. Okay, brilliant. You know what I mean? Let's start writing some bits. It's funny, I bumped into a listener the other day. At a boxing again, actually. Yeah, weren't invited, mate. You beat at the next one, and he was like, "So there's this geezer. We buy the, we buy the, um, if we're getting a drink and that Wembley Arena. By the way, I don't think I'm going back there in a hurry. I've been there twice this year. The fucking price of the drinks and all that is extortionate. It, it, I take the piss, really. Mm. But anyway, so I see what this geezer was coming from. But this geezer bought a few drinks. And I think he weren't happy with the price. And then <clears throat> they were like, no, no, you've everything that you've ordered, this is the price. And then they showed him the wine. And he was like, no, I didn't, I didn't order all that. But then they showed him the thing and he had, but it's just really expensive. Mm. It was like 11 pound for a fucking glass of white wine. Mm. Silly prices. And I think like his pride was hurt a bit. So he fucking started giving it to him bad. I won't say what he said because he said, well, it weren't nice, you know yeah. what I mean? And he had, like, OSB vibes about him. He would go, like, fucking, what, like, what are they? Like, oh, like, you know what I mean, 50, 60. Oh, exactly like, what you mean. Do you know what I mean? And he was giving it to him bad. Anyway, we walked away. He's come, he's like, oh, all right, mate, listen to the podcast. Can I get a photo? I'm like, yeah, of course you can, man. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> left them. This argument now, what this bloke's having, is building and building. Security are coming over. I'm like, nah, this ain't gonna end well. Like, some of the stuff that's coming out of his mouth, you're just like, this is, is just gonna fucking end bad. Went up to the kid who listens to the podcast, lovely kid, by the way. I'm like, oh, mate, how about come over and stand over here with us? Because I, I, think that's, I don't think that's gonna end well. Mm. He goes, oh, I can't, can't mate, like, it's not my, my, 
my mate's dad. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I nodded like, okay, OSB vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this kid's really sweet, right? Next thing I know, these two blokes and these security guards, it's all kicking off. <coughs> I look around, the geezer who listens to the podcast is just fucking chilling. <laughs> security <laughs> guards. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it. gone. I love it. Yeah, and I, it, was, it did sort of like, I was like, ah, oh, nah. That's not nice to watch, man. That nah. sort of. But it did make me laugh when I see him ah, chinning one dude, of the like geezers. Fist fights, but it was for, it was it was funny because he was a really nice kid. And the next thing I know, I turn around and he's like, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just well, look, I just always it. thought like a good fucking fist fight, especially if you won and like all your mates was involved. If you won, it was like that was the best thing that happened that night. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then the flip side of it, there's been times where I've been properly chinned. And I wake up with like an all sore head. And then it was the worst part of the night. You know what I mean? It's a coin flip. Unless you're really good at fighting. And I never was. So I'm just saying, when I used to go out and get rowdy, good tear up was quite fucking exciting. I remember the only geezer that I've sort of like half knocked out. I got nicked. Yeah, you told me about that on the train. Yeah, on the train. Yeah, you mentioned it on the podcast I've several times. It on the po- oh, yeah, because I'm <laughs> quite proud of it. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's no, it's nothing to be proud of. Uh, but it was a self-defence thing. Yeah. But I remember being in the police cell thinking, oh, this is sore. But I'm like, first time I've fucking knocked someone out. Mm. So, so it was like bittersweet, you know. Yeah. It's mad. It's like that animal instinct in you. The only time I ever went and like started a fight was this guy, right? it was so funny. So I was with this girl back in the day, like my childhood sweetheart. It was just a complete fuckery anyway. But anyway, she was with this geezer first. She left him to get with me. Ooh. And then I found that after we'd split up, she went back to him oh. for like one night. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I was like, nah, liberty, liberty. So I Ooh. saw him on a night out, yeah. And there was like, just watching him. It's like, when he leaves, I'm going to chin him. I'm like, when he leaves, I'm going to chin him. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to do him in here because I'm going to get fucking, like, it's not going to go well. I was like, I know where he lives. I'm just going to follow him home and whack him on the road somewhere. Right. The only time I ever, like, sought out a fight. So he's left. Right? <laughs> Sam's nightclub in Brentwood. Oh, wow. that? so you must have been young, man. I was young. Yeah. 18? Really young. Yeah. Yeah. 18. Yeah. So um, he went and got a kebab. I'm standing over the other side of the road and I was like, sweet and I was just like literally was like, as soon as he gets to that bit I'm just gonna run over and chin him and I did I run over and I was like confronted him turned around he was with his brother and I was proper stuck one on him and um I felt pretty powerful bro did you like, can't fucking bearing in mind I'd nicked his bird off mate of it's built it's built in yes yeah, mate we got a thing it's only been what 100 years or so that we weren't fucking riding about on horses with fucking machetes and shit 100 years it's a little bit longer than a bit that. Longer, but of course, mate, like f- millions of years of evolution to like, what, a couple of hundred years of society yeah. is still in us. This is what I'm saying. It was like, it goes back to that. And it's always over women, which is how we're supposed to be in nature. Is it always over women, though? If you don't, a majority of the time, it's over women. Well, did, uh, I mean, Adolf Hitler tried to romances, take over the world. Romances, Hitler tried to take finances. over the world. I don't know if he'd done that because he just so wanted my, to pull some birds. calling me. Of course not. No, that's because he was shit at art. True. Yeah. Actually, it probably all does come down to the fact that he wanted power, status. And why did Hitler want power and status? Pussy. Because he wanted the pussy, man. Yeah. All comes down to the vajayjay. It all does all come down to the vajayjay. Yeah. The punani. The poontang. The poontang. Not the poontang. The old (laughs) wizard sleeve. Yeah, mate. Of course it does. The old... It's the age-old debate. Mm. Romances and finances. Yeah. So women do rule the, rule the world. Pretty much, mate. They actually do. Mm. They actually do. What's that guy? I sent you a clip from him. His name is Ari something. Remember that guy? Ari Shafir? No, not Ari Shafir. Maybe it's not Ari. Oh, I fucked it up. He's, that's not his name. He goes, um, women have got it cracked. He's like, they got half the money and all the pussy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know what? He's right. Yeah, mate. It's a, it's a, it's a woman's world. What's that fucking guy's name? I sent you a podcast of him. Oh, the one whose really? nose collapsed. Oh. His nose is toast. Yeah, Ari something. It is Ari, ain't it? Mm, don't know if no, it is. No, maybe not. But yeah. Artie. Artie Lang. Artie his Lang. name is. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it's crazy the things you do for like, I mean, every, I mean, like, why do so many, you know, the cars going to the gym? I think a lot of it comes down to, mm. cause you want to attract the opposite sex. Of course it does. There's certain things you can do that makes you more attractive. Yeah. So some people do it, some people don't. But there you go. Mm. And on that bombshell, like Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that is Jeremy Clarkson, isn't it? Yeah. Do you see old Freddie Flintoff uh, got nine mil for crashing the car? Really? Yeah. He got a big fucking payout? I know. Oh, my God. I've got a car downstairs. He I might just drive it into the wall and then say, fucking UTC. What money you got for me, boys? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but so he's doing all right. Well, yeah, he's, he's not. doing pretty well. He's not, but he's... If he recovers, he'll be fine. No, I mean, he's laughing. Yeah. It's the you best life. Mil for his troubles. Yeah. You telling me I would drive a fucking car so fast into a wall for nine million quid? I would do that. No, but yeah, but you might not survive. Put your seatbelt on. Make sure the airbag works. I would do that. Cover up that nose of yours. <laughs> Tuck it in. <laughs> now, to be honest, mate, there ain't much left in there yeah. anyway. You might need to put a helmet. It's just basically like rubber. Yeah. Yeah, you know the one with the nose. But Jewish yeah, listen, on that, on that bombshell, uh, we're done for another episode. Um, thank you, Chrissy White, aka White Boy, run for his number one podcaster. Thanks what they got to do me. on the YouTube, bruv? Uh, go subscribe to We Are L17 YouTube channel. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Exactly. And on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, what they got to do? Rate us five stars. Don't be tight. Wow, it sounds very beggy from you. Just <laughs> yeah. asking for the... You're, you're yeah, yeah, no, fuck it, look. I was you're, thinking, you're, should we be beggy? Should we not? I don't want to tile bathrooms anymore. I want to get off my hands yeah. and knees. Rate us five stars, please. Mm. You sound as beggy as I do on, on that building site, mate. It's probably beggier, you know what I mean? All right, let's be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, listen, we think we give you a five-star service on this podcast. You may disagree. If you do disagree, then go listen to another podcast. Don't, actually, because we need the numbers. Mm. But rate us five stars on there. Thank you very much. Um, and make sure to keep... Into, I love that message today. My pal put me onto it. I started listening. Mm. I love that. I mean, that is how um, we're going to get our podcast. Grow. Yeah, that's how these things grow. For you, send your friends and family. I think I really like this podcast. What it's about, they're just two normal blokes from Essex. One of them is Tyler. One of them thinks he's a stand-up comedian, but he wears his mum's knickers. And they just have a laugh, you know. Mm. But this is the one for you. So uh, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>